And to discuss the president's busy week ahead, let's bring in our CBS News senior political editor, Steve Shigaris, joins us now from our Washington bureau. Steve, uh, a big, one of the many big items on uh, Trump's agenda is health care today. He's meeting uh, uh, with uh, governors, and it's something the president mentioned at the um, dinner just last night at the White House. Let's just take a listen and uh, talk on the other side uh, from comments he made. Everybody's different. Every state is different and uh, different requirements. But I think we have something that's going to really be excellent. And as most of you know, the Obamacare has had tremendous problems. I won't say in front of the Democrats. I'll just say it to the Republicans. It doesn't work. <laughs> but we're going to have it fixed, and we're going to repeal and replace. And I think you're going to see something very, very special. So it's typical Trump. What he is working on is excellent. Obama's <laughs> plan had problems, but we all know that Republicans are aware that it's going to be much more difficult to repeal and replace an entire health care program. What is the word in Washington on how that might be done? Well, we're all waiting. Uh, <laughs> we're all trying to figure this out. I think you're going to have governors asking that question at the meetings, uh, at the meeting they're having today with the president. Keep in mind, this is. Uh, the first time, really, that these governors have had, a lot of these governors have had quality time with President Trump. Uh, so th there has to be the first question on a lot of their minds. They know that uh, a lot of their citizens in their states are reliant uh, on Obamacare. So what is this uh, excellent slash special plan that Trump has? They're going to be asking for details. There's no question about that. And then, as we know, the, the, the President Trump's meeting with uh, congressional leaders today as well. I think they probably want to know some details as well on this. I mean, we're all waiting to find out. We're all going to hear from President Trump uh, tomorrow night in a joint session, a joint speech to Congress, a speech to joint session of Congress. And uh, I think we're all going to be waiting to hear the details on this. I'm not sure we'll get those details, but that's what we'll be listening for. Yeah, you uh, mentioned that the president is meeting with congressional leaders as, as well. He's uh, going to have a meeting with uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Any idea what the goal of that meeting will be? Well, I think part of this is going to be laying out what he's going to say to Congress uh, tomorrow night, uh, the issues that he's going to discuss, uh, perhaps the tone he's going to take during this speech. Uh, you know, there's Obamacare, there's tax reform, there's immigration, how they're going to build the wall. There's a lot of details that have not been laid out, a lot of promises that were made on the campaign trail uh, and hints uh, to solving those problems in the pr Trump uh, presidency. So now it's time to sort of lay those out for Congress, lay those out for the public. Uh, you just got to wonder how much detail he's going to get into in this meeting with the leaders today and how much detail he's going to get into during his speech tomorrow night. One thing that strikes me, Steve, is that in order for President Trump to um, get these initiatives passed and get the support he needs from legislators, he needs to be able to sell them, um, mm -hmm. whether it's a budget proposal, whether it's a health care reform plan. And this past weekend, President Trump said he would not attend the White House Correspondents Association mm -hmm. dinner in Washington, um, which many see as unusual. But the White House has campaigned on this almost war against what they describe as fake news. Do you think the White House is starting to understand and learn the importance of the press in spreading its message? Or might there continue to be this deep division that we're witnessing? Well, my, I th what we've seen, I think, over the last several weeks is they're viewing the media as getting in the way of what they're trying to do. Uh, and frankly, they, they see us focusing on things that aren't necessarily positive uh, in terms of what he's doing uh, as part of his admi administration, his presidency. So they really are setting up this uh, Trump versus the press narrative, mainly because, one, they know that the press will talk about it, and it's a distraction from some of the things that he's doing that might not be so positive. But secondly, you know, I think they feel that the way to get things done is to, as you mentioned, work with Congress. And they have a Republican House, they have a Republican Senate, and really sort of buckling down and getting to, to solving these problems by getting things passed through Congress is, I think, the, the top of their mind, not really worrying about uh, how to deal with the media other than to set us up as the enemy. So, Steve, can we talk about this budget outline that's mm -hmm. supposed to be coming out of the White House, sort of the highs and lows, spending cuts? What do we know? What should we be looking out for? Well, so there's a, there are reports of a, a, this budget outline. This is not the full budget proposal, but an outline that they're going to present. Uh, they are already telegraphing that entitlements, Social Security, Medicare, are off the table. They will not be cutting those in this budget outline. But there are discussions of a significantly increasing military spending and potentially cutting uh, spending on EPA and the State Department. So we'll keep a close eye on this. But it's really interesting because uh, not only the reporting uh, uh, on this budget uh, proposal 
proposal talking about entitlements off the table. You had the Treasury Secretary on TV yesterday saying the same thing. They're really stressing that Medicare, Social Security uh, cuts to those will not be part of this at all. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the money has to come from somewhere, so we will see. Right. Steve Shigaris in Washington, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Good to see you, Steve. Thanks. My pleasure. Good to see you.